Hey guys, now a lot of you have been asking me, why haven't you made any new videos lately? Well, that's because, as usual, I've been busy these last couple of months because of work. Last month I went to Hawaii, and back in June I just finished high school, and other personal stuff. So what I'm going to do in this video is just talk about the things I'm going to do this summer, or late summer I suppose, to like September, and answer some other questions that you guys want me to answer. So I was supposed to make this video last month or even late June but I just didn't have the time to do it and I got really busy with work. So think of this as a channel update. So first things off, you guys are probably wondering if I made any new videos. Yes I did make a new video last month and that was the Beyblade Holy Horsesuit unboxing and yeah that was the only new video I made. And you're probably wondering, oh aren't the Pokemon Moonwalkers new? Yeah, they're new, but those were all pre-recorded back in January and February, or even when the game was released. And some of you still think I'm still recording it and playing it, which... Okay, I still play Pokemon Moon, but not as much, because whenever I finish a new Pokemon game, I don't play it as much as like months ago. Which brings me to my next question, the Pokemon Moon walkthroughs, if I'm done the entire game. Yeah, like I said, these videos are all pre-recorded. Even with my Naruto Storm 4 walkthroughs, they were all pre-recorded last year and this year on February. For Pokemon, it was a long ass time. It was from November to February, alright? So it is a pain in the ass to edit these videos, so don't expect these to come every day. I will post them when they're done, okay? So you guys have to be patient with these walkthroughs because some of you are asking, when's the next Pokemon Moon walkthrough? Well, they will come out when they're done. Okay? So, I'm almost done with these videos. So, hopefully before September comes, I will finish uploading the Pokemon walkthroughs. So, as of August 15, I only got like 4 or 3 parts to upload. So, don't worry guys, I'm still going to upload these videos. Next up is the Beyblade Bay Battles. Yeah, it's been a while since I posted any of these videos. The last battle video for Beyblade was probably Wyvern DJ vs Wild Wyvern and I wanted to do something like this because we never had a Wyvern Beyblade since Shogun Steel or Shogun Shit as I call it and since Archer Wyvern or Orochi Waibang was never released in North America. It was only released in Japan and China. China because of rapidity and Japan released it in a special blader set but I know they released a couple of the tribute characters. Beyblades from the original and plus I wanted to do like a wyvern versus wyvern battle but back on topic I know I said in my previous Beyblade unboxings that I was going to do Bay battles on the burst Beyblades against the original plastics or metal alloys the HMS's and the MFB's and the other burst blades but as I've stated before I am so busy nowadays and most of the time, or even sometimes, recording the battle footage is a pain in the ass because once you rip a Beyblade, it either goes out of the stadium or sometimes it gets messed up. Like, it would either explode for no reason or like a part might be missing, something like that. So that's why I have a problem doing Bay Battles nowadays because back in the day, I only took like, what, one take with my older Bay Battle videos and even with three round bladers, if you guys remember that. But now it's completely different from what it was like five years ago. So I will do more Bay Battles, but after I finish G Revolutions vs Gang Gang Galaxy, because that's a series that I want to finish this year, because it was on a two year hiatus and I want to finish it by this year. So hopefully it gets finished by this year or even 2018. Who knows? Next is the Naruto Storm 4 videos, which are the random battles, random tournaments duels as well as online battles. Yeah, I haven't posted any Naruto videos in a while because some of you were getting sick and tired of random battles and how I was battling the computer and how I wasn't playing online. Well, here are two things you guys probably don't know. One, I started off random battles offline back in Storm Generations and two, not that much people play Naruto online anymore because it kind of just died when Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 came. In like other games and plus the battle point system or the BP system like ranking up is glitched up I don't know if it's mine but it's really glitched up and it doesn't want to increase your BP anymore so 
that's why I haven't been making online matches for Naruto because not that much people go online Storm 4 anymore than like last year. Because when this game came out, there were a lot of people playing it as far as I remember. So I will continue Naruto Storm battles, but I won't post them every day. I'll post them when I have the time. And also Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm Trilogy is coming out. So I might do some videos on those too. Like maybe walkthroughs because I haven't done a walkthrough for uh, Storm 3 or even Storm 2. So for those who have been watching my Naruto video since the beginning, then you guys have to wait because I want to focus on other videos and other things so please be patient on these videos. Next is the Dragon Ball Universe 2 battles. Same thing with Naruto. I will post them whenever I want to. I mean, I just recently uploaded the duels for Super Saiyan Blue Vegito versus Merge Zamasu, as well as uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito versus Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. So I wanted to post a Dragon Ball Z video in between other stuff because I haven't posted any Dragon Ball Z video since the beginning of this year. So I wanted to bring back DVD battles back on this channel. So then. It won't just be Pokemon Moon, Beyblade, and other stuff. So for those who've been watching my Dragon Ball Z vs. 2 videos, like with Naruto, I will post them whenever I want to. Next is something I wanted to do last year, but I didn't get to do, and that is the Beyblade Collection update. The last one I did was for the Metal Saga, and I tried making an opening for that, and it was okay, but I think it wasn't as good or epic as the original collection update opening. And I wanted to do another Beyblade collection update for the original and another Beyblade collection for the entire series. Like the original trilogy, the Metal Saga, and even Burst since I got my hands on the Burst Beyblades and they came just last year. So the reason why I didn't make a fifth Beyblade collection update for the original was because while well, last year I didn't get a lot of Beyblades for the original. So. Instead, I just did the MFB one since I got more MFB blades since 2014. And I was planning to do a Beyblade collection for all three series, but again, I didn't have that much Beyblades for the original. And same thing with Burst. I only had like five Burst Beyblades at the time. So I didn't make the video and I just left it with the MFB one instead. So hopefully I will get more of the original Beyblades this year because the last new Beyblade I got from the original trilogy was Trigger G or something else. As for Rising, it would be Dragoon SWX and Dronzer SST. So hopefully I will make another Beyblade collection update this year instead of waiting another year to get more blades. Now this one I had a lot of comments saying what are my thoughts on the second, third, and fourth chapters of Beyblade Rising or Beyblade Season 4 and if I read them or not. Yes, I did read the other manga chapters and they were pretty good. The second chapter basically showcased the Gold Dragon SWX and another Takao or Tyson vs Kai battle and it also marked the return of Kai's grandfather because we haven't seen him since season 1 and that was like 18 years ago so I'm glad Takao Oki brought him back in this manga chapter. And it also introduces Max's new baby sister, yeah. In chapter 3, it introduces Rei's new Beyblade called Darkness Trigger and it looks really badass, so it's similar to Black Dronzer in a way, so I like how they're doing that again. As for chapter 4, it marked the return of Tala, or Yuri, and the other members of the Demolition or Blitzkrieg boys, which are Brian, Spencer, and Ian. And for some dumb reason, Tala has Woborg 1 again instead of Woborg 4, or even Woolboard MS, so I don't know what's up with that. So I will make a video on these three chapters, but only when chapter 5 comes out, so then I will give my proper thoughts on this season, and if it's worthy of becoming a fourth Beyblade season of the original, because Metal Fusion does not deserve that title, and Next Generation wasn't that great looking back on it. I mean, it was good, but it's not worthy calling it a fourth season of the original Beyblade. Now this next question or thing I'm going to be talking about is, if I'm still going to continue or make vlogs. Uh, well I decided not to do them anymore because to be honest, I don't know what to say in my vlogs anymore because back then with my older videos, I would think of something to talk about on camera. But now, things have changed. So I might not do vlogs or vlogs anymore, but I'll think about it. Next is the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 zombie videos. If I'm still going to make a part two or just discontinue it. Now, I know some people didn't like that video because apparently some people don't like Black Ops 3 or even the other two Black Ops games. But the only reason why I made that video was because 
I wanted to bring back one of my old videos and give you guys something different instead of resorting the same thing over and over again and also I wanted to bring back videos I didn't finish back in the day so that's the reason why I brought back Call of Duty Zombies on my channel now I don't know if I'm still going to be doing Call of Duty Zombies but I don't know because of the feedback I got from the Black Ops 3 Zombies video I did a couple months back but I don't know let me guys know if you guys still want me to do zombie videos or not because at the same time I want to and don't want to because of other things that are going on now this next one I'm going to be talking about is when's the next Beyblade Review Rant Thoughts series part coming well if you guys are talking about Beyblade Burst the first season well that season is still going on in dub form and the Japanese version just concluded last year now I won't make that video yet because the dub of season 1 of Burst hasn't concluded yet and they're still on like episode 44 I don't know I haven't watched it in a while but I know it's still going and it's not going to conclude until like the end of August or even September but for Beyblade Burst God or Beyblade Burst Evolution that will probably be 2018 or 2019 because one I haven't watched Beyblade Burst God fully because I only watched the first episode and two not all the episodes have English subtitles there are only like what two episodes that have English subs so if you guys can find a full list of episodes of Beyblade Burst God in English sub I appreciate it because I want to watch this season as it's going on in Japan and I will watch Beyblade Burst Evolution when it comes out this September and yes that is the official release date as for the toys it'll probably be released in the middle of September ish or October I don't know so if you're wondering when the next Beyblade review and thought series part is coming out that will be when the dub of Beyblade Burst season 1 concludes so you guys are probably going to expect that December ish or maybe early January alright two more things I want to talk about now you guys are probably wondering if I'm still going to do the 900 subs special or not sadly no because if you look at the comments on that video it only has 10 comments I need more than that guys so if you guys still want me to do that video you have to comment on that video not on this video but the 900 subscribers special video I will leave a link in the description or just leave a link somewhere in the video so you guys can check that out so for now it's a no lastly other rant videos with my sister and crossover videos with Josuke X Jojo Lion yeah me and my sister have been talking about what rant video we should do next because we did YTV and Disney and Family Channel. Now, we've been thinking of doing New Generation shows or Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon or Teletoon. But I told my sister that there are a lot of Cartoon Network rants and they're just the same. For Nickelodeon, same thing as well. And nobody has made a Teletoon rant as far as I know, just a YTV rant. So me and my sister might do another rant video sometime. As for crossover videos with Josuke X Jojo Lion, while we've been thinking of doing other videos like top 10s, our thoughts on other animes and battling each other on Naruto, Dragon Ball Z Universe 2, or other games we are planning to do like Grand Theft Auto 5, Mortal Kombat X, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, Zombies, and other stuff. So expect to see more videos with me and Josuke X Jojo Lion, as well as more rant videos with my sister. So that's it for this video guys, it's a little long, but I just want to talk about what I've been up to the last couple of months, and why I haven't made any new videos lately. Yeah, so make sure you're following me on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch, link will be in the description below, and make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and like always, I'm out, peace!